most of the time it's like their flock mates or different animals that live around them, but Molly and Gabby grew up in a home, so it's a little bit different. And Ella's been working with them for quite a while, so I'm gonna let her take over. Well, thank you for that introduction, Adam. Thank you. Well, hi, everybody. Like I said, my name is Ellen, and these two beautiful girls are Molly and Gabby. Hello. 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 Thank you. This is awesome. What I'm saying is that they're the but they can introduce themselves. What's your name? Gabriella. Gabriella. Yeah, and you're Molly. Yeah, you're Molly. Good job. Yes, you're not Molly. Okay. Girls, what do you want to show off today? <laughs> You want to show off all your cats. That's very interesting. Okay, I don't think it's a very good idea for Paris to be calling cat stores than girls. Maybe not. Yeah, but you said something else too, didn't you? What'd you say? I love you. Oh, I thought that's what you said. I love you too. Yeah, I really do love these girls. They're so talented. They know so many different things. And they just love to show off. That's a duet. Yes, we are. 
Yeah, yeah. we'll that. So it gets confusing sometimes. Do you guys see that little ring in the disrespect? Yeah. yeah. Oh. How cool is that? You know, like birds like that have been helping us connect people with the natural world in, in this theater since the park is open. And uh, Daisy is a great example over here, right? Actually, do you, do you want to show off that thing she does? Yeah, let's do it. I'll yeah, go in the back. Yeah, you go out there and I'll set it up. Okay, so we want to show off how well that this bird flies, because that's kind of the adaptation that this animal has. And, and to do that, we need, we need some help. I need maybe two people from the same party who like want to make like a hoop with, with their arms so the bird will fly. Bring your black t-shirt and like the, like yeah, right there. Stay where you're at and work together. Face each other and make a hoop with your arms. Look at high and low, perfect. And then this will be like our forest of Africa, okay? Because these birds, when they're found, dart through the forest with incredible speed. It's really awesome. And we want to show that off. But Daisy, we got some friends who will help us show that off. And you're a little closer now. We love that. You ready in the back? I'm ready. Trees, are you ready? Okay, trees are ready. Okay, Daisy, what do you think? Give them a closer look. She's sizing up the flight. She's looking. She's thinking. She's flying. Here we go! Chase down from three. When we get to one, that's it. Take over. Make sure you send it up to the roof, okay? All right, perfect. Okay, if you want to come over here with me, we'll get this all set up for you. Adam, how you doing up there? I'm great. How's uh, How's Daisy doing? I think she's well. She She looks like she's yeah. Doing well. we'll see if she'll come over. Perfect. There it is. Right. Okay. Let's give Chase a countdown from three, everybody. Three, two, one. Okay. okay. Flyers too. You know what's 
really awesome is that their feet are kind of specially designed too by nature. It allows them to be able to perch on things that have like prickly branches or even the spines of a cactus because these guys are found in the arid regions of Central and North America, right? So like cacti is a really great place to perch, but there's not a lot of arms. So they have special tiny little feet that do that. They're still really powerful and very capable of catching their prey though. So we're gonna see how close he gets to all of you right now. What do you think? Mason, he's grabbing a bike from Corey. He's shaking his tail out of me back there. Here he goes. Let me sleep up, my friend. I'll go grab his bike and then maybe do his little tail nipple. There he is, guy. And then we'll send you back home. What do you think? The way's through the window. Right over here. <laughs> See you later, but you were so awesome. Mason, thank you. Thanks. All right. Keep it here, guys, so we're ready for the hawk. Wow. 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 I like the cheesy face though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, what about this though? Okay, the, the Harris' Hawk is one of his favorites. So why don't, why don't you share one of your favorite facts about Harris' Hawks that will stop people getting sick? Okay, all right. Well, one of the coolest things about Harris' Hawks, they work really well together, right? Yeah. But, but just one hawk by himself, like Mason, can eat about a thousand mice in one single year. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. Yeah. Especially considering like, we have like, a couple thousand rats here not that long ago. It was a bad problem that we had one. I'm pretty sure we weren't just talking about the rats. Mm -hmm. Why not? It's a good conservation piece. Yeah, but, uh, but we get to talk about like how important it is to have them around, right? Because we have so many of these thinking rats around, we were like, we've got to do something, right? So we decided yeah. we have the hawks, yeah. right? And the owls at night. Yeah, they, I guess they know should And then all of the rats moved out. I mean, we haven't even seen like what, like a mouse or a rat or a bull? No, it's squirrel. Well, sometimes squirrels. Well, Always we see squirrels. Yeah, yeah squirrels. But no more rats. No, they're, they're definitely <laughs> behind. Yeah. yeah, we were like, oh, rats, just like you guys, too. And then we'll have to get out. Yeah, got a box to Pretty terrible. But it, it's okay, though. That's right. And like right there, see, I don't need the bird information on what to do. And the bird is like, like you make sure that after you retreat there, I want to make sure that happens again. Because yeah. first you go anywhere. It's like, that's the way it works. If you don't do that, it works. You won't be able to work. That would be some time. You say everything. Okay. You say retreat after she does the time to shoot. Well, I'm trying to make sure she doesn't come back to the rock. Now, see how that could be brought back? Yeah, well, because yeah, you know what? We use it to reinforce the design of the heaters. We use it to reinforce those behaviors all the time. So, you can observe what behaviors are being reinforced, so what behaviors are probably increasing over time. Yeah, right, so, hang on. Hang on. I'm hanging on. No, no, hey, 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 no, He's a very loose one. What makes the loose start really special are the size. He's one of the largest flight of birds on the planet. Let's see below them his wings again, too. He's getting one last bite of the ball up there. Then. Pretty stinking cool, right? Incredible. And you know, along with their size, they play a really important role out on the plains of Africa, too. They're carrion eaters. Yeah, amazing flight. Uh, but yeah, they eat dead stuff, too. But you know, it stops the spread of disease. It returns nitrogen back into the cycle. Another reason why we like to call them nature's recyclers. Right. If we all did a little bit more recycling, but in our own way, the earth would be a beautiful good catch. And maybe it's like a face that only a mother can love. Oh, buddy, easy. The way home is that way. There it is. At maximum speed and power. Wait, Force. 